Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I wanted to show you the perfect Hoffman's test. Not perfect because I'm the one doing it, but because this young lady has a really positive Hoffman's. It's really easy to see. So I'll explain really quickly. Um, she had a head injury approximately um, 12 years ago. And, um, and as a result, ended up with some neurologic damage on the left side. And so when you do the Huffman's test, whenever you're doing a, a, an orthopedic exam, it's always important to throw this into the picture. I do with almost all of my patients, and it's amazing how many people I discover some sort of underlying neurologic condition. Now, a Huffman's does not always mean that there's an upper motor neuron lesion. Some people are just strung out tight neurologically, and that pops up. But in this situation, she has a negative uh, Huffman's on the right side, very positive on the left. So I just wanted to demonstrate uh, what that looks like. So what you do is you hold that middle finger, that DIP joint, hold it nice and stiff, and then what you're going to do is watch the thumb and forefinger as you give this nail a flick, and it has to be a nice, real, brisk flick, okay? See that? So that's a positive Hoffman sign. You can see where the fingers come together, just like that. Um, she's also a little hyper-reflexive on this side and um, also has some tone issues in her foot and ankle which we are going to be addressing here real soon but that is a positive Hoffman sign and if you have any questions about how to perform it um, or um, who might be at risk of an upper motor neuron lesion go to the YouTube website take a look at our playlist on Hoffman's and you'll see a lot of different patients with a lot of different neurological issues uh, where this kind of falls into place and uh, can help you with your diagnostic skills take care